and taking it to the de de teachings of the magisterians. That is what theology is. So theology, okay, is a disciplined exploration of divine revelation. Those words are key. Disciplined exploration. So you explore. Okay? This is the discipline of exploring divine revelation. So, you, you say Jesus is God. Or Jesus became incarnate. What became man? What does that mean? You explore that statement. So theology is not simply restating a theological statement. You explore it, it's mere. St. Anselm, I think it was St. Anselm who says, theology is faith-seeking understanding. That's the discipline, the exploration of what is contained in divine revelation. Okay? Divine revelation, you explore it using this discipline. Okay? So that is what theology is. So a priest is supposed to explain things. Not simply say, you know, Jesus loves you, and so we have peace, you know. What is peace? What is love? Because many of us don't explain these things anymore. So anybody can say this is love. Or this is truth. Or this is peace. Or this is joy. Okay? So that's what theology is. So that's why St. Thomas Aquinas is recommended for theological studies. Because he explains the things. Okay? And then catechetical, we looked at catechesis. Okay? Then doctrinal, the doctrinal teachings of the church. So the church has reflected on the wealth of sacred tradition and it comes out with its teachings. The wealth that is in this book, you can read scripture here, any scripture, and it go and find its explanation. This is the wealth of our faith. Whether it's our faith, sin, you know, you name it, virtue, it's, it's all. So, that is, so that is who we are as a church. And that's what we should grow into more and more and more. So if that happens, we can be confused. St. Paul told people, his churches, that if I have told you the truth, if I ever come back and I tell you anything contrary to this, don't believe me. Even if an angel comes from heaven and it tells you anything or something contrary to what I've told you, don't believe me. This is what it is. This is the truth. But Father told us, who do you believe? Jesus or Father? Like this, you know, the priest who told the people, there is no heaven. So I'm here, he was teaching, I'm here to debunk the book of Revelation. Because there is no heaven. Now if there is no hell, Father, why are you here? Because if there is no hell, I don't need to be told what goodness is. I don't need to be told what evil is. So don't tell me anything if there is no hell. If there is no hell, <laughs> I can live anywhere I want. I don't need any discipline to live back. Okay? But who, who, when people say, oh, yeah. but, but who do you believe? Jesus, who affirms that the devil has a kingdom, and those who are cursed, Matthew 25, who didn't do what the Father says, they are cursed, will go to that eternal fire. This is the thing. So the priesthood to told the people this in a conference. There is no end. Matthew 25, the meaning of verses is uh, maybe begin with verse 40. So let's uh, begin with uh, verse uh, 41. Verse 41. Matthew 25, verse 41. So how can a priest tell people there is no hell? Okay? And 
he tells them that he's there to debunk scripture. A priest basically is there to teach scripture. But now he's there to debunk it. By whose authority? By the devil's authority. That's, that's, that's how you can do that. So then he will send those on his left. Depart from me, you are cursed. Okay? This one is a cross. Some people say accused. No, it's a cross. Okay? Depart from me, you are cursed. Into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. There is no help. Really? <laughs> Who should I believe? For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. A stranger and you gave me no welcome. Naked and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when do we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, in the truth with him. I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. Now this is the affirmation of hell. And these will go off to eternal punishment. Eternal punishment. But the righteous to eternal life. So a person who is commissioned to teach that tells people that it is it's not true. This actually happened. So that is what we call demonic pride. Which leads us to nowhere. That shows you that a person doesn't understand where he's coming from, who he is, and where he's gone. Okay, let's take a break.